This is Patrick Riggins with the Patrick Riggins Show. Looking out for you. <laughs> I don't have a bullet in my hand, though, but uh, Tori, Tori may have uh, a sharpened stick over there. Hiding. <laughs> a sharpened stick. <laughs> Poke you with a stick. Yeah. He pokes me, yeah, and keeps me going. <laughs> All right. We're at the last segment of the show. An interesting story came out this week. And it demonstrates just how far the government thinks it can go in violating your rights and get away with it. Now, the overview is, if the government has agents working for it, listening to your communications without a warrant, you should not be allowed to sue them. And for even more good news, Congress is probably going to reauthorize a law which explicitly legalizes such a thing anyway, wiretapping without approval of a judge. Now, these two agents, what happened was the government got caught wiretapping two attorneys without this warrant and this was before this uh, legislation passed authorizing it now the attorney sued and were awarded damages but on appeal the government is stating that you cannot sue it the government based on sovereign immunity grounds if the attorneys try to sue the actual people doing the illegal wiretapping well then the government is just going to declare their names a state secret to shield them from prosecution. Now, this wiretapping is happening because the Congress, and this was when Senator Obama was in there and he voted for this, passed legislation allowing domestic spy, uh, spying in the uh, summer of 2008. Now, for those of you to whom this is coming as news, government agents are currently allowed to write their own warrants without the approval of a judge. And this is, of course, in blatant violation of the Constitution. And if the people to whom they are serving the warrants tell anyone about them, they can be fined and imprisoned. Congress has also passed legislation giving the telecommunications companies like AT&T and Verizon, et cetera, all these different telecommunications companies, they've got immunity from lawsuits if they are providing their wiretapping for the government. So, yes, the government is spying on you, and if someone tells you about it, they can be prosecuted. If you find out about it and tell someone or write about it, then you can be prosecuted as well. How far we have come, all in the name of fighting terrorism. I know I, know I play these clips uh, from past shows a lot, but it, it only to demonstrate how much you will be informed by listening each week. Here's what I said about this whole terrorism war previously. When we have a conflict, though, this gives the government... A reason to bargain us out of some of our freedom with the promise that when it's all over, we will get it back. Now, terrorists have been with us since the founding of this country. We just called them different names, but they were still the same. If we had Indians still out in the West raiding outposts, we'd be labeling them as terrorists. Or if we had people riding up from Mexico and burning towns because they claim this territory, we'd call them terrorists. So, if we have a war on terror, and terrorists have been and always will be with us, then we will always be at war. So, we'll always have to restrict freedoms and liberties in the name of that war. And, unfortunately, too many people in this nation are merely, merely laying down and allowing the government to do whatever it wants. All because the government promises to keep us safe from another terrorist attack. What happens if we aren't, though? What happens if the government does not protect us from another terrorist attack? Do we get our freedoms back? No way! In fact, they're going to take more of them because if we do have a terrorist attack, well then, obviously they didn't take enough away previously to prevent it. You see, the government wins both ways. If we don't have an attack, then it was a good thing that we gave up some of our rights because it prevented one. Although there's not really any way to prove that. It's kind of like the Obama administration's constant claim that if they had not bailed out a bunch of companies, also in clear violation of the Constitution, then we would have a higher unemployment rate right now. How do you prove that? You can't. So if we have no terrorist attack, then giving up our rights prevented it. And if we do have a terrorist attack, then we didn't give up enough. You see... The government is using all of these different supposedly big crises in order to whittle away your freedoms and liberties. If you don't let your congressional representatives know you're not happy with it, they will just gladly go on voting for it. 
if you but it, you know the, the way to solve this is if if you start voting for people who are freedom and liberty minded then we can start to turn around this huge mess before it gets any bigger because even though the government says it's going to keep us safe and and everything's okay if you stop and think about it this is the same government that cannot run its agencies in any sort of efficient manner it cannot control its own spending heck it cannot control its own people as evidenced by this very court case that these attorneys or these uh, government agents obviously wiretapped these two attorneys without a judge's approval before Congress authorized such a thing to go on. So clearly they were acting on their own or, or with the approval of their higher-ups still in government. And they didn't allow the Constitution to get in the way. These, these guys, these agents are trained, part of their training is law. And they know the law. They know what they can do and what they can't do. And they went ahead and did it anyway. Because, as being shown, they know the government is going to try and shield them from this prosecution for doing something so blatantly unconstitutional. Part of the problem is you have just this across-the-board disrespect for the individual citizens' rights and privacy in government. And so when one agency sees another agency not paying attention to the Constitution and just kind of doing what it wants to do, what's to stop it from doing it is too. So, or, you know, it's, it's just a, it's, it's a spreading plague, I guess. When they see another agency doing it and get away with it, well, then when they want to do a little something that may be a little bit outside the Constitution, they don't care either because we didn't prosecute the guys, the first guys that did it. Anyway, just something to be thinking about and something to let your representatives know. As I say, these guys work for you up there. All of these people in Washington that are in government work for you. They're your employees, and, and you should treat them as such.